everybody. Chris Eubanks there on the left, getting ready for today's action. He's up first over on court number nine. His coach, Philip Greskoff, to my left, annoying me. As always. But great to be with you here today. Um, yeah, let's see. Try to turn that off, huh? It's been a few, few, few very... Uh, set. It is uh, rainy. It's miserable outside. Today is election day here in Virginia. Um, so as a result, uh, it's going to be one of those days where everybody shows up with a nice, like, I, I voted sticker here. Uh, but you see on the left there, that's that's Chris Eubanks. His coach, Philip Gresk, is kind of popping into the picture as well, going full hoodie today. Phil, uh, Polish tennis legend, Philip Gresk. I mean, the guy was an absolute legend when he was, like, 15. He hasn't done anything with his life since. I mean, not a, not a thing. Except he coaches Chris Eubanks, and I don't know if that's really something that you want to have on the res resume. Hey, Tinka, how are you? Good morning. Welcome in now to the stream. Welcome to the Boar's Head Racket Club. Got a busy, busy day. 12 matches across two courts. Uh, I was talking to the supervisor this morning, Brad Taylor, and we were just kind of having one of those conversations, you know, just how, oh, what's this day going to look like? And I, I think we're starting 10 o'clock local time, 12 minutes from now. And I don't think we'll get done until minimum, minimum 10 o'clock uh, tonight. There goes Chris Eubanks running across the court. That's 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 good to see that he can actually sprint. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a minimum 12-hour day today, uh, if not maybe closer to 14. So it's going to be a fun one today. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna grind a little bit. Yeah, long day loading is right. So it's we'll have some fun today. Um, hopefully you enjoy what we've got uh, it's it's obviously there's there's great action Billie Jean King Cup is going on obviously Paris as well on the men's side so lots of great tennis around the world but yeah we've got the order of play there you can say Phil do you want to you want to hop on the the pregame yeah we're pregaming right now you want to say hi to the people no yeah I think I think we got like I think we got like five I just I just trash talked to you actually for a while. I said you were a Polish legend when you were like fourteen. That's about right, right? Yeah, I know, I know. But yeah, let's let's go through the order of play. Phil is Phil is right next to me, and he's he's got a he's got to prepare for a, a match in ten minutes. So I'm gonna let him get into his mental headspace because Lord knows he needs it. Uh, Pospisil Nava starts the day here on center. Um, in case you didn't hear it, we did have Vashik on our podcast on Sunday night, Monday morning. It dropped Monday morning. Um, Vashik, we did try to get into the PTPA where it's at right now, as well as how the PTPA is going to affect players at the Challenger and Futures level specifically. Um, we didn't really get to as much as we wanted. We only had about half an hour to get into it. So hopefully Vashik will join us again at a later date to kind of um, talk through some of those those details. I think that's the big question for me. Um, big picture is just I, I need some details here. Um, I think the idea is great. I love the idea, big picture of the PTPA, but yeah, I, I need details, and, and Vashik did explain that there is going to be a big rollout coming up in January. Um, yeah, let me get to that, Tinka, because that's that's coming up second on uh, the Brendan Myers court, our center court. Anaki Montez taking on Peter Polanski. Anaki Montez is a sophomore here at the University of Virginia. Um, so, listen, the guy is thick. A pair of C's, thick. 
um, and huge quads. Um, the, the guy competes incredibly well and makes a ton of balls. He plays two, three, four, um, Virginia, and he competes incredibly well. He doesn't do a lot, but he does a great job of just making a ton of balls, making you work. So it, it's going to be whether Polanski finds the court today. Um, Peter's obviously going through a really tough 2021 campaign and I think has lost four or five straight right now. It's the second time he's had a losing streak of more than um, more than four on the year. Um, so that's a it's a tough matchup, right? Because it's a guy who's going to track down everything, make a ton of balls. He, Polanski's going to have to earn it today and that, that could be a difficult task. Polanski, a finalist here. 2013, I believe, was when he... Uh, lost from five love up in the third in the final to Michael Russell. If that if that sounds right. 2013. That was a that was a tough loss to overcome. Torpegard Sock third on today. Um, Sock two years ago. I think it was 2019. Uh, time kind of blurs but 2019 he lost a, a match, retired from a match, and then was pointless back in 2019 after this event here. So a little bit of redemption for him coming in as the four seed here this week. Um, Torpegard looks like he's actually in a better place himself. Uh, I, I think he will be ready to go, ready for a good uh, battle today. Then Mitchell Kruger, Dennis Kudla, fourth on. Uh, these two played in Kerry a few weeks ago, and Mitchell Kruger doesn't lose in Kerry. Uh, it was the first time that he'd actually beat Dennis Kudla. Uh, Kruger actually overcoming a couple of demons there in Kerry in the way to that, that second title in Kerry, beating both Kudla in, I, I believe it was the semis, and then Bjorn Fertangelo, his close friend, in the final. So that was an important week for Mitch, but he has not had a lot of success since then. In fact, he's lost four straight himself, so hopefully he's able to. Yeah, I know, Phil. I know Chris Eubanks beat him in San Diego. Just settle your body. Settle your body and relax just a little bit. Have a drink, will you? I know it's not even 10 o'clock, but I'm sure you can find some alcohol somewhere. It's election day. <laughs> People are going to be drinking throughout the day. Tyson Kwiatkowski, Blas Rolla, fifth match on today. Kwiatkowski was an NCAA champion here at the University of Virginia in 2017, taking on Blas Rolla. It has not been a particularly good matchup for Ty over the years. Rolla 2 and 0 oh against Ty. And I believe the, the closest score was 6-3. Morning, Jason. Um, and then Stefan Kozlov and Bjorn Fratangelo, not before 6 o'clock, as you saw Jason Jung walk by. Jason has Christian Harrison later today. Yeah, the, the matchup's over on court nine. Uh, since I'm not broadcasting him, I didn't do a, a, as much prep on, on these matches on court nine, so I, I don't really need to. Chris Eubanks takes on... Yes, K. Owatanuki. Um, you know, Chris Eubanks, he's going to do his thing where he hits a big serve and then retreats about six feet behind the baseline. Um, no, I, I kid. Only because Phil's here wearing a, a shirt that looks like it's stained. I mean, you, you, I'm just saying. First off, first off, Phil. Uh, the next, the next time you come sit next to me while I'm doing the pregame show, you're, we're going to get you. We're going to get you a headset. Yeah, I've got, I can put, I can, I'm just saying the next time we'll actually do this for real. Okay. I know you will. We'll, we'll talk about your love life. Um, but yeah, it'll be, it'll be an interesting matchup because I, I think a lot will be as it typically is on, on Chris's uh, racket. Um, so we'll see how he performs today. Stebe and Mo. Mo's had some, uh, the last time he was here, 2019, was when he had that infamous match where he threw a racket and it did hit a, uh, a lined person caused some blood, and that was a, a difficult moment for him um, mentally, physically. He, they did come back and win Knoxville the week afterwards, uh, which was an emotional moment for him. His mom was here as well. That was a, that was a big deal. So, Jason Jung, Christian Harrison over on court number nine is match number three. Popko Vukic actually could be a that could be a matchup that would be a lot of fun to watch Vukic. The court set up really well for him here. He likes a little bit of a slower indoor court. Um, so watch out for Vukic today. Popko, though, was a semifinalist here back in 2019. Nick Chappell and Wu Tonglin is fifth on on nine. And then JJ Wolf, the Las Vegas champion taking on the wild card Martin Dam. So both of the guys who were in the final in Vegas uh, getting last on matches today. I did see JJ last night. 
Uh, it was good for him to, I think, um, he's he's one of those guys who I think wants to have that extra preparation, so I know he got in just a, a quick hit last night. Uh, I didn't see Kozlov, which is not to say he didn't make it last night, yeah, but something tells me he's going to be a little bit different, take the day off completely, probably come in this morning. I'd say 11 or 12 getting prepared for his nightcap with Bjorn Fritangelo. So, yeah, it is it is election day here in Virginia. Uh, this is the first contested, um, I guess we'd say major election since the uh, 2020 presidential election, the, the, the big one. So um, th there's a lot of... A lot of eyes, a lot of media attention. I was watching the World Series the other night with, with Phil and, and Chris Eubanks, and uh, just the sheer amount of political ads every time we went to a commercial break was stunning. So there's that's Nick Flenty, who's walking across the court, was involved uh, yesterday in a match, complete yawn uh, as we got him uh, on camera, which is just perfect timing. But... Uh, Nick, a very fun guy from, from Kansas. But yeah, just tons. He's actually pr pretty politically engaged himself. Um, Brett says, hopefully the Kozlov show will be in full effect tonight. I have... I, I, listen, Koz is playing some great tennis. I don't know how his body is going to respond, how his mind is going to respond after um, another really good week in Vegas. Um, hopefully it responds well. Hopefully he's able to be engaged today because, yes, when he is doing all that stuff he can do with his hands while also actually hitting the forehand a little bit, I mean, it makes for a very entertaining watch. Um, my friend Ben Rothenberg, the, the I guess I'd say polarizing journalist. I know he's a huge Kozlov fan. There's a, in, uh, there's a possibility that uh, that Ben might make it over here, if not for tonight, but if Kozlov advances. I know Ben is a, a big Stefan Kozlov fan himself. He is such an annoying personality. Yeah, I mean, some people will, some people definitely think so. Some people definitely think so. Phil, good luck today. Thank you. No, I, I appreciate it. We're going to, I'm just going to be here all day. All right, sounds good, buddy. Um, you guys know where to find uh, our stream today. We're going to continue doing these pregames throughout the day. And, and like I said, I, listen, there's there's great tennis all over the place, right? I'm not I'm not sitting here thinking everybody's going to be uh, watching our challenger here in Charlottesville, but hopefully you'll join us at times throughout the day. Um, it's going to be a <laughs> it's going to be a busy one, and it's going to be a fun one. But I, I haven't actually seen Emilio Nava play in person. Um, I missed him at the Open this year, so I'm actually excited to see how he um, competes today against Vashik Pospisil, who is technically the defending champion here in Charlottesville. You know where to find the stream? Head over there now. We will have it live and in effect in just a couple of days. Or not, same to you. And we'll talk to you guys in just a little 